Firestorm's been deployed for a little while, but right now we have essentially no insight into the performance of the app in production. We'll integrate AppSignal into our app. AppSignal offers what they call consolidated monitoring. Errors, performance, server metrics, and custom metrics all in one. With AppSignal, we can see how our app's performing so we can fix problems when they crop up. Let's get started. We're starting with the Daily Drip Firestorm repo tagged before this episode. First, we'll install the AppSignal package. So we'll open up our mix file. Then we'll install the dependency itself with mixsteps.get. Finally, we'll install AppSignal into our app using the provided mix task. And here I'm using a key that is not the actual key. We'll be asked a few questions. Our application's name is Firestorm, and whether we prefer to configure AppSignal with a config appsignal.exs file or via environment variables. I prefer environment variables, so I'll choose two. The necessary environment variables for a basic setup are AppSignal app name, AppSignal app env, and AppSignal push API key. There are more detailed configuration settings available as well. This is sufficient setup for a basic Elixir integration. We have a Phoenix app though, so we need to follow the Phoenix integration guide. We'll start by adding use appsignal.phoenix in our endpoint directly before the router plug. This will create a transaction for every HTTP request which is performed on the endpoint. Phoenix also has instrumentation hooks built in, and we can configure it to use the appsignal phoenix instrumenter. So we'll go to the config prod.exs. And we'll modify our instrumenters. We already have one for Prion, and we're going to add appsignal.phoenix.instrumenter to this list. We can also add instrumentation to measure the time it takes to render our templates. So we'll just need to register the appsignal template engine in the config phoenix template engines key, both for EEX and EXS. We would also like to add query logging for insight into how our database queries are performing. Now we can do this by adding the appsignal ecto logger to our list of loggers for the main repo. We'll also need to include ecto.log entry as well, since we're overriding the default, which is just a list containing that. Finally, we'll instrument our channels. So we'll do this using module attribute decorators, though you can also do this in a more explicit manner. It's just a bit more code. We'll open up the store channel. We'll use app signal instrumentation decorators, and then we'll decorate each channel action. With that, app signal should be integrated into our application. We also want to make sure that AppSignal knows each time we deploy. That way it can tell you that this bug has gone away, for instance. Uh, Firestorm is currently deployed to Heroku, so we can use the Deploy Hooks add-on to notify AppSignal after every deploy. Of course, I'm not going to actually do this since I've already set this up prior to this recording. Now when we deploy, we'll be monitoring Firestorm in AppSignal. Let's go ahead and look at the AppSignal dashboard to see the data that's been gathered. We can click around a bit and see what kind of insights we can see. So we'll look at a controller action. We can also see a graph of performance over time. In addition to basic application performance monitoring, AppSignal also provides error tracking, so you can see where and when errors are happening with stack traces and integration with your issue tracker. You can see your load average, CPU usage, and memory with host metrics along with disk I.O. network traffic and disk usage over time. AppSignal also supports custom metrics and dashboards, and we'll go into these in more depth in the next AppSignal episode. And they also support team management as well as a host of integrations, as you can see here. Try AppSignal in your app to get more insight into what's happening behind the scenes. In less than five minutes, we've added consolidated monitoring to Firestorm with AppSignal. It seems to be pretty extensive, hooking into the most important bits of our app quickly. I hope you'll take the chance to add it to your app and start getting more detailed information about its production performance. See you soon!